بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Living the Quran through the Living Quran, an audio visual translation of Tafsir al Nur of Sheikh Mohsen Karaati, translated by Salim Bimji and edited by Arif Huda. Audio version read out by the translator. In this 22 part series, we will be reviewing Chapter 58 of the Noble Quran, Surah Al Mujadila, The Pleading Woman. Part 1 Allah Hears the Appeal. Allah has indeed heard and accepted the words of the woman who pleads with you, Muhammad, concerning her husband, and refers her complaint to Allah. Allah hears the dialogue between you, Khawla, and Prophet Muhammad. Surely Allah is all hearing, all seeing. Thinking Points In this verse, Allah refers to himself three times as the one who hears to show humanity that they can speak to him and that he hears them. In this verse, Allah has used the following three words. Samia, he has heard, the past tense verb. Yasma'u, he hears, the present tense verb. Sami, he is all hearing, the indefinite singular adjective. Takeaway messages. Number one, we must be careful what we say as Allah hears all. Number two, the prayers and appeals made to Allah are definitely heard by Him. Number three, the Prophet of Islam, by keeping in mind his position of leadership in the society, was easily accessible by the people. And when people had difficulties in their lives, they were able to go and speak to Him. Number four, within an impartial Islamic government, the freedom to express one's opinions and beliefs is so easy that as seen in this verse, a woman was even able to come to the leader of the society and launch her complaints with no fear of repercussion. Number five, when in times of a person feeling that they are at a dead end in their life, they must seek protection under Allah and His saints, the awliya. Number six, it is when incidents, needs, and dead ends in life come about that pave the way for the introduction of laws to resolve such issues. Number seven, being one who hears and sees and is aware of the challenges which the people face is one of the conditions of the one who is entitled to be the lawgiver for society. We will continue in our next discussion with verse number two.